So to get started on my curry turkey wings, here I have my turkey wings. I had it soaking in some lemon juice and some vinegar for about 15 minutes or so. And I'm gonna wash this off. Also, when you, uh, when you wash your, um, not wash, but when you clean your meat, especially turkey wings with vinegar and a lot of high acid, it tends to make the meat a little rubbery. I'm not sure if anyone else notices that. It changes the texture, but hey, what the? We're gonna wash this off twice at least and get all that excess, you know, vinegar off of it and the lemon juice. Get it nice and clean. And this is three pounds, believe it or not. It seemed like a little bit, but it's not. It's three pounds. So, I'm going to come back and I'm going to season my turkey wings. And I'm going to be making this with some... I really can't decide if I want to do it with dumplings or white rice. But either way, it's gonna be delicious. <laughs> All right, so here I have my curry powder. I have a mix. I'm going to put them in my description. And this is about two spoonful of that curry powder. I love to season my meat with whatever seasoning I'm using, except for like browning, cause I do my own browning and that's about it. And I also have here some parsley, some ginger, some onions and whatever else. And some complete seasoning. And I'm gonna put that in there like so. And I also have here, for my Caribbean folk, this is Broadleaf Thyme, aka Tiki Thyme. My mom went to St. Vincent and she bring me back like a big jaw. If any of my followers are in Beckway, guys, I'm running out of Tiki Thyme. Can y'all send me some? <laughs> so anyway, this is about two spoonful. You could use regular green seasoning from the store, but this right here. It is the creme de la creme. If you know, you know. If you don't got it, then just use regular green seasonings. But if you got this, and baby, you already know what time it is. I'm going to go ahead and I cannot seem to find my gloves. However... My hands, I just washed them. They're clean. See, they're clean. And I mean, if you don't get your hands in it and massage that meat, then what are you doing? Come on, guys. You got to massage that meat, okay? You got to get everything in there like so. You got to put your hand in it just a little more. I'm so silly, guys. Anyways, you just must look at that. You you gotta get your hands in the meat. Massage the meat. My gloves, see, now I see the gloves. They're over there. But too late for that now. So anyway, you do this. You can marinate this overnight. It will literally be better overnight. You know what they say? It gets better with time. If you do this overnight, man, it's going to be so delicious. I'm going to get some onions and cut up in here. And some scallions and things. And I'm going to also put it in there. My mom and my daughter, they don't like onions in here. So this is why most times I just use the onion powder. You could, um, you know... Cut some onions, some peppers and things. But 
because they don't like it, I'm just literally not gonna, you know, put it in there. Guys, look at that. Ooh, so pretty, man. All right, I'm gonna let this marinate for about eh, 30 minutes or so just to get all the juices going and flowing and things. And you know what time it is. Okay, so here I have my pot. And I put about two tablespoons of olive oil in here. And I have some more curry. I have like another spoonful of my curry mix. And I'm going to add it to my hot oil. And this is the point where you fry your curry. I mean, you don't have to. It's just my preference. You don't make sure you don't burn it. You just, you know, put it medium to low heat. And you could use avocado oil. I have olive oil, so olive oil doesn't really have much of a high smoke point. If you use avocado oil, you stand a better chance. But because I know what I'm doing, <laughs> I know when it's good and great and when it's not. You just mix it to get brown not burnt well not brown but toasted toasted is the word so now it's toasted i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna leave my stove on low i'm gonna now add my my turkey meat and now i turn my heat up just so it could get all that nice toasted curry in there and guys let me tell you something you could never have enough curry powder in your meat or stews okay good so i put my turkey in here i turn my heat up and i'm gonna go ahead and put my cover on my pot and I'm gonna just turn up my heat down to just about medium for a few minutes and just let that meat cook inside of the curry and then I'm gonna come back and add the liquid. Okay, so I let my turkey wings cook for about five to six minutes and I have here this pick of pepper. This is the gingery mango sauce. And I'm just gonna put about half of the bottle in that. Man, let me tell you, this thing right here in this bottle, so, so, so good. If you're ever using any curry or oxtail, or stew oxtail or whatever, stew chicken. Yeah, they have different ones. They have the spicy ones. They have the regular ones for the oxtail. Trust me, give it a try. You won't be disappointed. And I have some, I'm just getting like the excess of my seasoning. Sorry guys, I'm a lefty, so I could only use my right hand when I'm doing stuff like this, which is weird, like to lift. So yeah, anyhow. I have some hot water here. I would say I'm using just about four to five cups of boiling hot water, six cups even. And I'm just going to bring this to a boil. Just a tip, when you're making stews, any type of meat, always boil like hot water. Because if you use water from the faucet, it literally, you know breaks down the cooking time because then it's like the meat is already hot and now you get the cold water and you're gonna shock back the meat it's like a weird process so it's better to always use hot water like i'm doing so i'm gonna go back and i'm gonna cover my pot i'll let this cook for about 30 to 40 minutes just watching it because it's now gonna be on high and the water 
tend to evaporate really fast so you have to watch it but i would say 30 to 40 minutes just checking the meat once most of the water is evaporated to see if it's like cooked the way i want it to be and then that's it okay so after about 45 minutes almost an hour my gravy is like ooh, baby nice and thick however my meat is not cooked to perfection so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna add just about six more cups of hot water for another 45 minutes so i would just say it's gonna take about two hours total to cook and i'm gonna cover it back and after another hour or so it should be done okay guys so after about what i would consider about two hours my turkey is finally finished it is nice and soft and like pretty much falling off the bone i i don't want it to cook anymore really and my gravy is like ooh, nice and thick we don't want no rundown gravy over here so it is nice and thick and yummy so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna plate this with my rice and i'll be right back to show you the end result okay so here i have my basmati rice i did about two cups and i'm just putting some cold water in it i'm gonna wash it well i am washing it actually because you see all that look at that water it's murky that is all that excess starch and you could actually soak your rice for a bit longer periods of time and that way it will eliminate most if not all of the starch right and you wash it just a couple times i'm washing mine in cold water because cold water tends to bring out the starch more you don't ever use hot you use cold so even if you're soaking it you soak it with cold water you could even put it in the fridge for it to soak and then you wash it off and then that makes the rice cooks faster also and you use less liquid with basmati rice you rarely use a little bit less liquid because it's one of those rice where you have to let it steam cook to be quite honest and so if you let it steam cook it gets flakier rather than mushier if you add too much water honestly it's one of those rice that for me sometimes i can't even hold you up it's very tricky so anyway i'm gonna finish washing my rice and then i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna start the cooking process
Okay, so after about 30 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead. Woo! Look at that. I mean, <laughs> look at that. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Baby. Look at that. Exactly what I wanted. Perfection in my rice. It is just nice and fluff. And the aromatics from this basmati rice, guys. Oh, delish. I'm telling you, if you added any more water to it, it would have been a pudding of a mess. <laughs> so literally, if you follow these directions to the T, just like I said, your rice would be perfect. I'm going to now take keep the cover off and that's it. We're done. OMG, guys, look at that plate. Ah, utter perfection. Oh my gosh, that turkey looks so delicious. I can't wait to eat it. Guys, you know what I say. The food here don't just look good, but it tastes good too. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also, try the recipes for yourself. Tag me in them so I can know you make them. Follow me on TikTok at Spice Grave Cuisine. On Instagram at Spice Grave Cuisine. And, of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, guys. So, you know I have to try my food, right? But it's so nicely plated. I don't want to touch it. But here we go. Ooh, look at that. Nice, nice, nice. Mm. Oh, my God. Guys. So. So good. The meat is like literally falling off the bone. You know what I say? The food here is not just delicious, it tastes amazing. Don't believe me? Try it for yourself.